I think Cat Williams talks about this shit as what well. Is, it's like, say? it's like, damn, you bad, but your toenails are plum and your fingernails are red. I don't know about you, but I can't do that, girl. I'm sorry. That's the type of shit that this man just did. So yes. I want you to acknowledge yes. how weird that was. Um. So welcome to your Wells Hangouts podcast featuring... Yeah. The old, the one you, it's, he's your favorite guest. So, I mean, he's he's the first three P. Oh, wait, no, Chaz has been here. Three, no, I think I think your roommates two. have been in this much more than I no, have. No, I haven't, but I haven't put out that many. Um, you might be the first three P, bro. How does that feel? Feels pretty special, my friend. Like, like dead ass, like dead ass, bro. Dead, dead ass. Dead. Dead ass. Dead ass. Who are you trying to dead ass off right now? Dead ass, bro. <laughs> dead ass <laughs> off. I've never heard that. Um. So yeah, uh, we wanted to do another podcast. We might we might keep this keep this going. You know, you might be like the. I feel like you know other people have like the fill in guests when I got no one else that want that either can or wants to. Like you're out of town on your your stand up career. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> I just come back and I'm just like this is like what so that I feel productive. No, yeah. no, this is my main squeeze. I love I love podcasting. I feel I'm that. saying you will be like my my guest, my primary guest. We out here. Um, I'm, that's I'm a privilege. That's oh, a yeah. privilege. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know, not a lot of people can keep a conversation, appreciate podcasts. You're one of those people that genuinely appreciates podcasts. Much like love. I do. I love I love podcasts. Much love. Yeah. I love audiobooks. Are you? No, you're a physical copy guy. Yeah, or, man. I'm or, like, like, are you I'm, switching up? I'm really into flipping pages, bro. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like the way you frame that. Why? Why do you like that better than like Audible or anything? I don't know. There's something about that. There's like a sound to it. People know exactly. I what wanted. I'm... I wanted like a much deeper reason, and you did not give that to me. All right. No, it's just. No, I mean, be, be, feels, be real, be authentic. Like, I'm let being me authentic. Know why. It feels like it feels like it's it. It feels like it gets to you in. Okay, there's so much shit that's coming at you electronically on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, Instagram, social media, just bullshit. I hear you. To then... I hear you. I, I hear you. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> but to then, like... Mike. But to then to get to, like, get that fully in, di- in depth, like, dive that fully into technology. Like, do it's you, like a moment... Do you take notes? Do you take notes in the book? Or no, you're not. Some no, books. Okay. It depends on what book, what book, like... Fair enough. It's harder on Audible or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think you even is there a section for that. I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. not really a note guy. Yeah, like my like my buddy has one of those Kindles. In, Ooh, okay, in that's my, like and in between. That's my a parents tweener. both have their own Kindles. Like I'm just like, I don't know. Are you I'm, a Kindle guy? Do you like Kindles or no? See, that's the thing though. I don't feel like it, it's hard for me to like stay on track with what's going on on when, a Kindle when, when it, with a Kindle or like a like you a, know like what a, actually like a I feel you like I don't there's like a like satisfaction like, to flipping a page and then when okay. you're halfway through okay the page okay. flipping bro see we gotta okay. come back okay. there's around. a rhythm to it there's a rhythm yeah you know what okay at first I was f- kind of fucking around like textbooks no like get that shit on Hell YouTube no. get that instant like you could you could easily have like a fucking like half a degree on with some of this information with like like I don't know, like twenty plus hours on YouTube, but yeah. like when it, so when it comes to like I don't know, uh, the, the world biology, you know, shit like that, then definitely go to YouTube. But if you're just trying to read like a dope, oh, you mean no- like audio, like YouTube? Yeah, audio. there's like okay. a, I mean, there's a difference between like knowledge. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, if I'm reading like a dope ass book, like I don't know, it could be a self help book, could be a fucking. You know, like in a, a good or like a good fiction, like some some yeah, good yeah, yeah, fictional yeah. book yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. Then like, you want that physical cop. Then I want that, like, because it, it, it it's making me feel good that I'm like, ah, I got seventy pages left. Yeah. Like Whereas. You, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. See, that's that's that might be a reason for me, but my like, I just hate like like it takes energy for me to read. Yeah, because it it's harder for me to focus when I'm the one like reading and like generating. The oh thoughts. yeah, I mean that's. But when someone's reading it to me, it's like you know it's more passive, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, and you get the like nonverbal, so it's easier for me to kind of stay on track. Yeah. I know, I'm no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not. And on top of that, it's almost easier. To, like I like to what? The, the idea of like an audio book. Oh so yeah, it's, it's so it's easier. easier. So then you can like. I'm not. I'm. I'm more of. A, I gotta be pumped for my workouts. But like, if you really want to listen to a book, then you listen to a book while you vegging no, heavy or some shit. I don't do that. It's that's, when I drive. That's so like I'm not doing anything already. Yeah. So, which here in LA, traffic. So anyone. So like, there's a lot of 
Oregon folk that listen to this or whatever. Like traffic is, I mean, traffic is bad in Oregon, but like here, but it here is it's like, like unavoidable. It's, a, it's an animal. Like you yeah. have to. So I mean, I like I understand it for then, but like it's almost like it's taking the challenge away. Like I'm not having to do anything for this information. Oh, I got anymore. you. I got you. Okay, fair enough. You like, like the to read you like is the conquest to, of. Well, you got to think about this. To read is to concentrate, and isn't any yeah. focus in this world like focusing? Focusing is a muscle in itself, right? One hundred percent. Like that's why meditation. Especially is so, shit that's boring. Yeah, like, like it meditation takes effort. Bro, the biggest thing for mental health for people is like meditation, which literally all it is is doing nothing. The idea, but the idea to, of, it of is emptying just your mind, emptying your mind. But you have to focus to empty your mind. 100%. That's the whole point. That's why you got these like. You got monks and shit like that who are just these knowledgeable people, and some of the the greatest minds were these big, huge meditators that could just sit there for hours. You know how hard it is for you to just sit posted for plus whatever hours. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's hard. So I think the idea it of reading a book is essentially meditating because I have to focus on each yeah, page. I got to focus I on each word. Whereas the audio book, it's like you know. Yeah, I think for me, it's like. Like I try to, uh, I like reading like the Bible when I when I can. That's my my choice of philosophy. I mean, yeah. anyone can choose theirs. That's the only thing I read like physical. Yeah. Because one, it, it's it's almost my it's my meditation time and my my reading time. So mm-hmm. like it forces me to focus, and also I get kind of that wisdom from it. Well, yeah, reading is meditation, but but it's the idea of you having to actually you actually have. Can't even fucking when uh, half having to. Heck, I know, right? <laughs> hey, we back on this. Eng- Concentrate. We we back. <laughs> we we back on this English in this English, English problem. God. But uh, no, nah, the idea of having to. Um, yeah, you gotta focus. Oh, that's it. You already said that. <laughs> I, I was just trying to. Well, you're I had. I, I, of some, you were thinking of something. No, I was thinking of something cool, but it was still. It was just reiterating the idea of fucking. Chaz is over here, half naked. Yeah, whatever. But uh, um, it was the idea of just reiterating the fact that I think like that can be your meditation time because yeah. you are focused. And it is my. Me- it's kind of like I try to like multitask in that sense. Like I get some knowledge, I read a little bit, and then I, you know, that's like my meditation. But honestly, wh- the thing I audiobook is things like I really am interested in, so I want that information fast. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, let me audiobook it. Let me get this information, and like it's quicker. Yeah. And, like, I can do – like, the thing about reading, even if you're a good reader, you can only read for so long before you're, like, all right, I'm, like, drained mentally. Yeah. But with an audiobook, like, I could listen to an audiobook for a long time. And then I have another argument as to why reading books is better, though. Okay, what's good? So, R.I.P. Granny, but my granny just passed away of dementia. And, like, many Sorry. older people – no, it's not – It's part of life. Naturally. It's part of life, yeah. Like, I, I uh, sent that message – that. You know, that note out kind of a long time ago because, you know, kind of hits you hard when they don't remember you. But the whole idea of the whole thing is Alzheimer's and dementia, if you ever take a psychology class, can be not avoided. Like, it will still infect your brain. But your brain is like, you got to think of your brain as like a tree or a branch. Hmm. So each time you, like, learn like learn new knowledge or you have to or, – or build your – that muscle because that's all it is is muscle because your, your brain actually takes up, like, 25% of all the calories. I just – I heard oh, that I in the podcast that. I recently. That. So that's why that's why when you get hungry, there's a it's called halt. It's hungry. We ju- I just talked about this in class with my teacher yesterday. Uh, hungry, or it might be H A L T. It's like hungry, angry, angry. Uh, anyway, whole point about it is your brain does all this work, and when you're getting all this work done, like reading, and you're building that muscle, that's it's branching off shit. So it actually though. You could have Alzheimer's or dementia or some some shit like that if you continue to build your brain with reading on a regular basis. I mean, puzzles is another thing, but that's a whole different argument. We're talking about books, so reading on a regular basis, you can actually avoid the effects of it. So, for example, there is a there was a lady. I remember when I took psychology classes. Fucking, there was a lady who uh, one of the biggest best examples that have stuck to my head to this day uh, was a lady who died at like 103, and she went to community college to the day she died because and they found out 
So this woman's like 103 years old, they f- and when she died, they found out that her brain was riddled with Alzheimer's, but there was no effects. No one ever knew to, know any, knew anything. The mm-hmm. reason why was because she was gaining knowledge on a regular basis, and she was making her brain work on a regular basis. Um, Dementia is a thing you can visually see in a CAT scan or something. I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know. You could. See I don't think it. you can. I don't think you, uh, this was Alzheimer's. Or oh, Alzheimer's. That, that was. I don't Alzheimer's. know. Even you, you could even see Alzheimer's. That's crazy. Well, because it's just rotting your brain. Oh really? And yeah, and I think it's the idea. And I, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's like I don't know if it's like physically they can see it or the, but they they might be able to see like it through sen- like like brain patterns and shit oh, like I'm that. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. But that's uh, interesting. But the idea is you could avoid those unfortunate um mental illnesses by the idea of learning. Learning but learning like physically. Like yeah, the idea of, but like the idea, if I were to just sit here and listen to you talk, let's say you're the most knowledgeable person on the planet. And I am. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect me to say to that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but if you're the, but if you're like the most knowledgeable person, I if I sit here, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I were to just sit here and listen to you on hours on end, that's not going to do me anything. Am I going to get new knowledge? Of course, of course I am. It's me. But did I work for it? Did, no. did my brain actually have to like sit there and be like blah, and blah, extract blah, blah, blah. it, yeah, and act- focus and decision make? Yeah, that's the thing. Instead about of it. making a white noise, it's the decision making that takes effort and mm. muscle strength. It's the what word is the this? focus? And then yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. With you know, when someone's saying something to you, there's you know, we're we're our brains are so lazy that like we can like. By what I'm saying, the lips, like how my lips are moving and the sonic waves, it takes very little effort for you to dissect what I'm saying. Yeah. But for reading, it's like, okay, what does this word mean in this context? Is this capitalized? Um, this font? Loki, the idea of reading, if you really think about it, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. Just the, the, I mean, simple, anything, anything you can look at deep and be like, oh shit, like, but we take we everything do. for granted. Yeah. But the simple idea of reading, like, you have, like, you have to be an encyclopedia, encyclopedia. On a yeah, on a wordly on a wordly basis. Yeah, like you have to like even, even seeing even see yeah that is so so listen to this. I was uh, watching this uh, this lecture psychology lecture actually, and uh, they were trying to figure out they they realized the biggest problem with like AI and like and things like that that requ- and like self driving cars. Yeah. Um. The reason it's so easy for us to see things and be like, oh, this is an object. But the thing is, we as humans, we don't actually see things. We see tools. Yeah. And like that within itself is complex. But first and foremost, when when a when a robot sees something, it sees it objectively. That's the best word I can really use for yeah. it. But they, they, they don't see that they're like even that tripod. Like I see that tripod and yeah. I know from my past what that tripod what consists of what it can do, how it can fold, how much it weighs. Yeah. But a robot, if it's seeing that for the first few times, it knows just, very little information. So it's just a, it just, just a literally stick. sees a b- sticks, and it doesn't know it has depth. It doesn't know it could go around it. It literally just sees an object. Like, okay. So, like, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you have to, like, it, it, it needs intelligence. It needs, like, that prior history of knowing. Yeah. Like, all this, like, we know so much information we take for granted. Like, oh, yeah. it's crazy. Like, if I look at this beer, like, yeah, I see an object. Yeah, I see it's filled with liquid. But just because of the context, yeah, because of the branding, because of the label, because of the colors, because of the setting right now, I know it's alcoholic. I know it's probably going to be cold. I know that that gold stuff isn't real gold. It's like, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like tinfoil. You know I mean? Yeah. Like, all that, all those like little pieces of information we take for granted. And like, that's why they're having such a difficult problem of figuring out like artificial intelligence yeah. and like self-driving cars because we really take for granted how much we know and how the simplest things require so much like prior knowledge. Oh yeah. I uh I wish uh next time we do this podcast I'm going to bring my book cuz my uh my teacher is a a philosopher like he's like a big philosopher as well. Mm. He's not just an acting teacher that's well known in like the entertainment world but he's also like like does like philosophy. I love um, stuff like that. Um, he's Can actually, he come on the show? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I have nothing to lose. Yeah, he, he costs. You're he's like, a, yeah, I'm yeah. not asking. Him <laughs> yeah, no, no. Well, because he teaches. Well, no, he's, he's probably busy. Him and his wife are teaching world. He's class. An acting, act, acting so he's teacher. A, yeah, so he's my acting teacher. He also does like phil, uh, philosophy, ser- uh, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Cuddy, I don't know. Uh, he does just like give me like information. I'll try to think of the word. Uh, he, he's presenting to a huge auditorium of people. Uh, consulting. Of philosophy, not consulting. Like he's just uh, giving his like a. Oh, just speech. Like a lecture, lecture. But, there's an, but there's another word that I'm trying to look for. Prophecy. Uh, starts pastor. Prophecy. Starts know. with an S. Uh, s- or s- it might be a C. Either way. Wow. <laughs> See, this is why. <laughs> okay, now, now I'm where now I'm where you're at. Yeah, but fuck. <laughs> Okay, I drug I, 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 I drug you down with me in the yeah, mind. I was like, I was like oh, it's lonely over here, bro. Well, the whole by the whole idea though is he uh, he does a, a lot of philosophy stuff and um he's really into like uh, and he wrote a book. That's what has, you wanted has, to bring. He's two. He well, he has two books, but no, like just the information that he gives off the top of the I'm head because sure, there's bro. there's a lot of information that has nothing to do. Well, it has a lot well, to do with like life. Do with acting. Like I Man, posted, you have to be low key like a philosophy, like into philosophy to yeah. understand acting because you have to understand the human mind. Yeah, like and one of the simple have to like one of the simplest things. Well, as yeah, because he's because well, he's trained. Well, he's trained some of the top actors. Like there's pictures with him, like with Tom Hanks and shit like that. It's not like he teaches Tom Hanks. They're probably like the same age, but the idea that they like. Yeah, like you when have they to ask learn. for it to, like those, the main actors in this world who everyone thinks are like untouchable, still ask for help from of a course. teacher. That's and why that's, they're good. And so my teachers, the school I go to is really like a pretty big. No, deal. I know it's huge. And so it's a uh, big one. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I mean, essentially, what I mean, I don't want to like oversimplify acting, but he's he's essentially teaching people why and how to show the things that people do. Like you know you're essentially show essentially what acting is you're acting in a way that represents how someone acts or how someone should act in that specific we're just situation. showing people we're just showing people truthful moments as being a human that's all we're doing it's yeah, giving them exactly. it's giving somebody a, uh, the ability to though it's imaginary I'm making it as real as possible I, I so like I said and I have a lot of these quotes like and there'd be a lot of cool quotes that I think I like I posted one yesterday the most simplest one was uh fall down seven get up eight. Simple. Fall down seven times, get up eight. That's the most simplest one possible Japanese proverb. Like, and there's um, but it's there's nice. a million ones that are like, like in depth, where it's like, the the truth of an actor is to literally tell what a human being is, and that's that's all we're doing. Like he's teaching us how to be in the moment, with, but what is surprising, and when you can actually fucking round it back into focus and everything like that, is, um, that it is, it, it's so hard for us to be in the moment these days. Oh, yeah. We're all oh, yeah. we are so three quarters of the world is trapped in their past. The other the, the other quarter is trapped up in trying to figure out what the future is like. And nobody is just sitting here. Obviously, do you have to look in the future? Yeah, don't be a dumbass. Like it's yeah. like there's it's a gray level. But, but the idea of acting is literally you got to teach people how to be in the moment, but intellectually be in the moment. Yeah. Like what is going on here? Not just do to do like I'm just going to do whatever. Like, no, like what's going on here? Why are they doing this? Why am I saying this? Well, what's happening here? Not thinking of what's happening after this conversation or after this pot, whatever, yeah. you know, shit like that. And so, and so, yeah. And so, you, it'd be surprised. It's surprising that so much philosophy is taught and goes through like acting, because yeah. it's giving. Because all acting is all actors. That's why I love acting. Acting is like we'll, we'll dive in another subject beside acting, but uh, all acting really is is like. Um, oh, I just had it. Oh my God, you're struggling today, fam. I know, right? This Sheesh. is rough, bro. Um, I think you're just trying to no, overthink uh, it. Like explain uh, what you're, what word you're looking for. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. I think you're just looking for the perfect word. I am looking for the perfect word. You're right. There's, there's actually like a specific word I'm right looking for right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you're like, uh, no, uh, we don't need it. We don't need it. Let but it, uh, be present. Just be present, Focus. man. Focus. That's a that's a whole point in acting. And Facts. So, I believe it. And it that's makes why sense. that's why philosophy is so into it is because it's yeah it's no, literally it, teaching it, how. To, that's why I was gonna is. say it's it's teaching you how to be human and that's all philosophy is is literally how human beings work only how, how they should act you know to, yeah and, and so. that, in certain situations that's what philosophy like psychology is what is and then philosophy is like how we should act yeah. in certain situations and that's acting. Hey, in this situation, how would this person act? How should you act? Yeah. You you have to draw those parallels. You have to explore philosophy to 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 
especially teacher acting. Yeah. Like, like you're just confronted with so many people, so many circumstances. Like uh, one of my favorite things he d- he told us is a story. So this is going to be kind of a general story because I don't remember the specific names. But there's a ge- there's a general who was running amok and throughout like and he was terrorizing places and he was becoming this emperor or whatever. And uh, he goes to a town and this guy and he goes to this town and he almost bull down and they almost tear down tears down this like little city or whatever. And uh, like a like a prophet of the town comes up to him and he goes, Hey, I bet if I can give you, um. Uh, I bet I could give you some of the best advice. And if I can give you the best advice, you have to leave us alone. But if I can't, then you got to do what you got to do. And then uh, he's like, well, okay, what's your past? I mean, I've uh, like, there's not a single bit of advice. I got all my problems and whatnot. And he's like, and, and this is the most general way of telling a story. But he's like, oh, well, well, just like your problems, this too shall pass. And that was the whole point of the thing. And it's like just the idea of like, just live in the moment. Like, there's no reason to, like, like it's going to pass. Everything's going to mm-hmm. pass. And that's just a small, I mean, that's just another little itty-bitty I'm bit. I'm trying to figure out the deepness of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you're, like, trying to, so he. You can't get caught up in your problems or anything like that because it's going to Oh, it'll pass. Tear. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just okay. like your problems. He's just saying, like, this will pass. This will pass. And, yeah. so the, and so in the story, the dude who was terrorizing these cities and whatnot literally was like, oh, shit. And yeah. Left. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's it's a very facts. general. There's there's specific names. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big, huge storyline. I was just trying to get it done. So that no, I feel fucking, you. Like, you know, it's it's true. I think uh, L.A. is so interesting. Like, I, I don't know what it is about this, Speaking zip, about being this, a... this zip code. Yeah. But for some reason, when I first moved down here, like, the speed of the city and how quickly, like, things could be going well. Yeah. And then things could be going shitty. And when things are going shitty, you got to tell yourself, hey. This, this two will, shall this, this two pass. shall pass, and there's, there will be a good moments, and then those good moments when you gotta fucking well, embrace them and kiss them, yeah. because that shit will pass too, and that's fine. That's what you have as to be long as you moment. don't you know you don't yeah. want to keep your lows too low or your you know your highs. That's uh, drugs. Well, that's why I think one of the best things that this city has taught me is like and like when you live in Oregon or you live in the many Midwest states or. The many small towns. If you do the small town living, well, they, there's nothing wrong with small town living. Yeah, there is. That fucking guys. sucks, and you suck now. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was serious for a second. I saw your face. Like my face, like you're like, oh, oh my God. shit, you're <laughs> He's you like really trying to send a message on this shit. <laughs> no, but uh, like it's real easy to just kind of be like I don't know, like just blank space in it, going go on autopilot. Whereas this, oh, the easy. city. There's so many stakes. You have to be thinking. You have to. There's so many stakes. Everybody's uh, tripping out, and that's why it's like here. Like whereas a small town city, you don't, you don't aren't really taught how to like. You don't imp- need that shit. You don't need that. Those types of that where type it's of like, philosophy. Where it's like oh, life will, is oh, this will pass. Like you don't need that. Even though like I was lucky enough to have a mom who taught me a lot of this shit too, but like and a dad who taught me a lot of shit. But like small town shit, like you get problems, but it's not like it's not like. The LA problem, people get caught up in that part in those problems. Everything is going so fast that they don't know how to, don't know how to get rid of all the bullshit. And just it's be the like, concrete jungle out here. It really is. Like I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. It's I don't like think you wild. Call this is a concrete jungle. That's more this, of a New York type shit. But no, this is a this is well okay. This is a concrete and fucking hot ass. Palm tree, palm, <laughs> palm, palm tree, tree jungle. Nigga. I don't know what you want me to say. He said a palm what tree I'm jungle. Is like, we're not in the actual jungle, but it's wild out here. It's very chaotic. Speak- Everyone's trying to get their nut. Everyone's trying to get their their money. Speaking of which, and it is intense. It can be intense. When you're in the Midwest, you don't really experience, you know, a t- as much of that. No, nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I would stay there if, you, unless you're pursuing anything that yeah. creative that you want to really be ambitious about. There's no re- like There's to, literally no reason to be in LA. Like I think it's like I think it's funny. Like I think it's funny that my idea of like success is to leave that small town shit. Right? Listen to this. Leave the small town shit. Become successful in a place like this or like a worldwide type of that. Like that's why you go to LA, New York, especially for acting. Like. You know, you got because I want to be in movies. I want to be doing this shit. And I know that. Anyway, the whole point is, like, you come down here to become successful. And then most likely the goal is to become successful and then move back to, like, a small town. Oh, 100%. <laughs> that, <laughs> is such, <laughs> like, bro, that is such, like, like what I wanted. Like, the Dave, like, Chappelle, the Dave Chappelle. The Dave Chappelle, like, moves to so Ohio. Oh, my God. That or, like, would be that's why all dream. these rich people live in Calabasas, bro. Like, Calabasas Malibu, is small, bro. Malibu's small the town. only place that I feel like, okay, I could live there. This small town shit, bro. Like, yeah, they don't, they don't want to live. Bro, the people that live in Beverly Hills, I'm like, bro, are you fucking stupid? 
Yeah. You have all this money. You could buy a nice house, but you want to live on fucking, fucking Highland. <laughs> I'm like, bro, uh, you have are no, have, me. have no backyard. You're. Cutty. I saw. I saw a house the other day that is literally. Oh, like a whole, like a a, a rectangle. Like yeah. A horizontal, and it was like, probably like, like you, two I million could, dollars. Yeah, because it, you know what it looked like? It No, it looked like it was expensive, too, because it was high tech. The entire thing was like a window. The entire building was oh, a window. Like you could see per, people like – you could tell it was like an art show type type of I house. You, but you. the crazy part was that you could tell that they didn't have enough room for this person's house like when they wanted to build it. So they just took like – Oh, my God. And like squeezed it in. Man. So it's like long. So it goes like far back. But like as for like space, like you could Stupid. probably touch – not for like me. if you just spread it, spread your arms, you could probably touch both walls. Like I, I it was insane, but man, you could to also teach your own. But like at the same time, man, <laughs> like, that just doesn't no. Matter. But honestly, so my uh, when I was working at life insurance, the the head of the agency, like a super rich like Jewish yeah. dude, he was like, yeah, he lives in Beverly Hills, and we, our office was super close to Beverly Hills. And he's like, yeah, I just I live there because I want to be close. I want to be close to my office, which I understand. Man, if you're, I get that. If, you're, if your office is literally right there. You know, a lot of people have offices in, like, yeah. West Hollywood. Like, See, I don't a give lot a shit, though. But, I'm but commuting, cutty, bro. Yeah. I don't want to feel like I'm always working. I'm com- I, okay, I'm but some com- people like that in L.A., We man. all have buddies that live in L.A. Like, I mean, Hollywood, I mean. That live, like, right. West Hollywood? Both. Both Hollywood and West Hollywood. Like, yeah. you know, like, the yeah, middle yeah, yeah. of Hollywood, yeah. like. Rosa lives in Hollywood. Yeah, Char- Char- exactly. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah, I need like, a break. Yeah. Even North Hollywood. I love the valley, man. Is, like. You know what? To be honest, I I'm a West Side Island. guy. I like. Where? I'm a big fan of like Santa Monica and Venice. Venice, Venice Santa Monica is little, cool, but Venice is getting it's uh, a little and like it's uh, getting better, but it's still a little like. Ugh. But my my like my friends like uh, my friends. What about Playa say, Vista? Huh? Playa Vista. Oh, um, that's not bad. It's just that that's like the that's a little like it's you get to a certain part where it starts to get a little far. Yeah, I feel you. They, like, Santa Monica is like, cool. Like, but Santa Monica and like Venice are like dope because it's, Santa Monica like, it's is cool. Always I always like forget a, about it, but it's cool. A, what's your thoughts on how people drive in this town? Mine or yeah? I thought you were talking because about we're gonna podcast. we're gonna break this down simple by simple, right? Um. But. So you know what's funny about my driving? My driving has changed. My my attitude has changed. I am um, so I have aggressive. never <laughs> used my ha- my horn so much in my fucking life. Yeah, bro. The, so like, I never, um, bro. Remember when uh. Remember in uh, in Portland, like if you put your horn on in Portland, it was you like you are the biggest dick. Holy in. shit! You think it, you think this needs to happen right now? Like if you honk no your one. horn in Oregon, bro, somebody's it's World getting War out of their War. car. Yes, no, no, <laughs> like, I'm like legit. Serious. If 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 there is a reason to honk your horn in Oregon, somebody is willing to get out of their car. Which like, I'm not you know, like you know when like an ambulance comes and you're like everyone turns their head, they're like, what the fuck? That's like honking yeah. your horn there. If you honk your horn, everyone's like, oh, my God, they're about to fucking brawl. There's about to yeah. be a shootout. Yeah, no, here here my driving has gotten, gotten – I, I honk my horn a lot. I think primarily because um, the the thing about living in L.A., you're always in a hurry somewhere or you're always trying to get somewhere. So, like, yeah. your, your tolerance is a little bit lower, I would say. Yeah. In Portland, you're not going anywhere. Bro. Yeah. You're chilling. You don't care if it takes like, a long well, time. I, yeah. Well, I feel like here it's like – that is very true. Anywhere else you really, like – it, it's okay. I'll get there. But yeah. like here, it's like I gotta get there now. Yeah. But, and I like displacing my like. I've noticed that sometimes I'll honk just to not feel like shit's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll honk and be like, just "Bro, to, come on!" Just to jump in the just to come jump on, in the you, honk. This guy, guy. Are you kidding me? This fucking. Or you guy. got the you got the fucking douche who's like five cars back honking. Yeah, the person. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we, you don't even know like, what's going on, like, dog. Hey, bro, like you I'm in front no of you, idea what's and there's on. three cars in front of me. Like, how are you honking behind me? Oh, we gotta go. Like, what? Like, and that's another thing we talked about this earlier. Now I can bring it up. I think if you're gonna be an asshole on the road, yeah, own that shit. I will respect you ten times more if you own your just being dickishness. So okay, you, you want example, someone to look get, at you. I'll give you an example. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I was fucking driving, and I didn't pull up quite all the way up to the car in front of me. Okay. The person behind me, it, I don't know what she did. You didn't pull of, up to the to – the, to So, the, like so there's the two cars in, okay, in front yeah. of me. We're, we're going to the turn lane. Okay. person behind me is clearly in a rush. Yeah. 
Like they were already trying to cut people off. That's and one shit. out of three people in LA. Yeah, huh? That's one out of three people yeah. in LA. Yeah, straight in a rush. You could t- driving like a straight dickhead. Whatever. Okay. I don't pull up fast enough, so they honk at me because I'm not pulling up fast enough. Even mm. though there's two two cars in front of me, we're not going anywhere. Now, so then I go, okay, well this guy's a fucking prick. I still pull up because you know it's my turn to pull up. I'm not gonna just stop in the middle of the whole like. I'm not that guy is gonna be like that petty. Yeah. We're not going fast enough to the person, so the person gets in the right lane, realizes they can't go straight. They can't like go straight either, so we're in the turn lane. Oh, I see what you're. Realizes about. they're trying. You're to, trying to take a left. I'm trying to take a left. Oh, I, I hear you. Okay. I and it's not going fast enough for them, so they're honking at me. Even though I got two, three cars in front of me, yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't go anywhere. Like, so, so what? So what they're you, being a dick. Yeah, we're not going fast enough for them. So they try to jump into the the straightaway lane. Yeah, they can't to maybe get go. Either. Okay, they go, it. can't go anywhere. They pull up right next to me. Okay. Now this is where I think this comes in. Okay, let's hear it. I'm clearly looking at this fuck. Okay. Hey, you gonna honk at me, bro? And then you stuck in that lane. Did they you that much a piece of shit? This bitch. I remember this it's a fucking. Girl, it's a woman? Just you could. It was a woman and. Or actually no. No, it was like a. It was a man and a woman. It was like it was a. It was multiple people. Oh okay, I thought these you meant motherfuckers like, she was like a transvestite yeah. or something. It was the dude was a bitch. <laughs> okay, I see. Does the whole. I know I did wrong, and doesn't doesn't look at me. You were so angry until you realized that you couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. What? Okay, I see what you're talking if about. If you're now. gonna be an asshole see, about okay, it, I changed my own that shit. It. You didn't explain it well the first time. Now I know what you're talking about. I try not. I don't. Hon- I only honk if I'm like trying to let people know I'm there. I don't honk like that. I'm not like an impatient honker. See, I don't. I don't if, honk if, in general. I I honk when I'm like trying to teach people like, hey, you're clearly fucking up. Like when people are taking a left and they go in like the refuge lane and their ass is hanging out. Oh, not because oh, bro. not because they're trapped, but because they're just literally because they have not, no knowledge of their car because they, they didn't realize that they couldn't go all the way. Bro, I that see shit, that every I day. At, I honk at that. And then you have to try to get around them. So now you got yeah. somebody honking at you back, but you can't get into the. Yes. You can't go in the other. And you, you got a car go on the right because there's got there's a whole fucking lane of traffic going. Tra- yep. So you got to sit there. I've where there's a whole you talk blank. So passionate about <laughs> bro. this. This is the one topic that. Gets you riled up. Well, bro, you got to think about this. When you're in LA, I love, I love when you're mad. I think that's why <laughs> I piss you off on purpose. Like, I love it. It's hilarious. But to you got to think about this. Fucking, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I do it. I don't think I really like getting under your skin. I just like seeing you mad. <laughs> when everyone, like, when I'm upset, I like, I, I feel like I can talk about shit a lot because well, I'll you're just, just go more in. passionate. But uh, if you gotta take that shit and, j- and channel that. I know. Well, you, they, why do you think I'm an actor, bro? Yeah, Fucking like. But uh, <laughs> like that first video we did, <laughs> and that's the thing. thing. <laughs> and that's the thing. <laughs> but uh, but you you gotta think we're in cars. Like the other day, I calculated I was in the car for like five hours. Bro, that's day. why I audio book. Like now I was. You understand my point? Yeah. Because I'm in the car for I, hours. Yeah, I understood the point in the whole gen. I was just saying it was like, if you have time, if you yeah, have the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. go to the physical thing. But if not, then you know, hey, it is what it is. But uh. Nah, bro, you're in car five hours, and the shit that we're and there's much more shit that we're doing, but the it's shit that we're saying zone. it's a war like zone a, out there, bro. It's like a, and it's not like a, it's not like we, it's a day to day, day to day basis. No, it is a street to street basis. You could have yeah. had a fuck up on one street, go to a, literally the next block and have the same fuck up with a completely dis- different it's person who is absolutely oblivious, just like the person before. It's some it go kart shit. It is legit bro. like a street to street basis, and yeah. it's like they're like, "What am I gonna run into this street?" And it's almost easier down here to drive fast, like yeah, move. Just getting away from everything. Just like I need to be like that's what I'll do. Like I will literally like go way over the speed limit just to make sure that I am. Just to make sure, like, I there's like a gap of like a hundred feet between my car and any other car, because I also have like dents in my car because of like motherfuckers also don't know how to park around this, in this fucking town. Oh, they yeah. don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm where a you, I'm a victim to the, to? huh? Where you have to park to? Yeah. Do you park in that parking lot next to your house? Is that where you? No, park? no, no. I have my own garage, bro. I'm, oh, okay. I lucked out. And what the fuck? No, no, no. People but, keep running into your car. And like, if I'm in Venice or if I'm Santa Monica, I'm, I'm oh, there okay, a lot. Or okay. if I'm like. If I just drive anywhere, I got you. I got your your you, I car got you, is at, you. you know, at risk. Which, 
it's such a bummer when you get a brand new car and then all of a sudden you got like you got it's like, bound to happen though bro like i have a fat uh, we you have a honda i have a toyota like they're yeah. fairly nice like newer models but like i mean it's a point a to point b bro are you gonna fix those dents no, no. Hell actually no. yes i am I how actually, fat are they they're like fixable by my standard like you okay, get like a enough. like a fair de-dent enough. you know fair enough kit or whatever suck that shit out but like <laughs> That's not horrible. Hey, you just gotta suck that shit out, man. You know. Speaking of sucking out. Oh God. <laughs> sheesh. I'm gonna see how hey, sheesh. Hey, sheesh, man. Sheesh. Yeah, you talking about sucking things out over here? Hey, you, hey, what you, you fucking fairy? Who you? <laughs> what is that? Fr- that one beer got you. What is that from? I know. I'm just kidding. What is that from? That's from it's just like a like a classy Italian just douche. Oh, hey, okay. you fucking fairy, you. Hey. Uh, hey you, or that uh Michael Rappaport, for it? He always says, "Hey, f- hey you, hey you." That's well, a good. Hey, that's a good accent. Hey you, fuck you, fuck uh, you, you. Um, hey. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> uh, so last, so last person Clifton I had here the other day, we kind of tried to do like a, a podcast, but his son was being three years old, and that's fair, I understand. <laughs> uh, but we were talking about sliding in DMs. What is, is do, you, do you slide time. in DMs? Yes, I do. Wow, you're gross. No, I'm just kidding. You, <laughs> you have a pulse. Okay, fair enough. I, I do, but I do have a weird... Do you, what's your I'm strategy? weird about Clifton it. Clifton had a strategy. I, you know what? It's funny too. is I don't have a strategy. I am like... That's what he said, but I, I was like, you have a strategy. And he was like, no, I don't. And I'm like, no, you do. Who the fuck's talking? That's real aggressive. Oh, we have a we have a guest. It's real aggressive, my friend. What? What's happening, bro? I just had the bad bitch by my DM. Uh oh, we got Logan coming on the <laughs> podcast. Logan Cundy. Is the camera Logan, are we live? I got you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, right, so, I just had the baddest <laughs> bitch slide my DMs. All right, explain it. What happened? Actually, actually, I, I said to her and she responded. What's her name? <laughs> I'm not, I mean, uh, that's what he always does. He's always like, she just slid my DMs. If I'm being perfectly honest, I slid first, but that's fine. No, yeah, yeah. That's no, the that's, Empire State. That still safe. counts. <laughs> that's still dope. That's still dope. What'd you say? We need, we need these specifics. What's her name? What's her address? I don't want. No, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what I said because um. As corny as fuck. No. We know. No, no, no. no. Actually, it has to do with Frenchie. Uh, my, my, yeah, my, my, of course. Uh, you know my oh, best friend. Cor- Cor- did you right? name drop? I, I do. So he has his pickup line <laughs> he didn't that he uses. Address my question. <laughs> Okay, okay. He has go. a pickup line that he uses. Me and him battle for hours and hours and hours of what's the best pickup line. Okay. And he, his is just this very very stupid simple. Hey you. Oh, I know this. Hey you. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like you with two U's. <laughs> He's so French. Hey you. And it, for some reason, it works. God only knows how. This is what's the what's the uh, click through rate? Like what's the percentage on? See like now. Here, here's what's, have you here's isolated? What's, here's what's have you isolated all off. the variables and tested each? I would word. say like I'd say eight, eight or nine times out of ten, mine works. I do. Oh shit! Okay. I say hey with the nerd face, like waving. Okay. Uh, okay. That okay. works. That okay. always works for me. Okay. That's Not, a bread and butter. I'd say I'd say eight, nine, tens of. To time. be honest, I think you used this for like since we moved into this house. And it works. No, I just I serious. forget to respond on Raya, and there's this <laughs> there's this critical time, in which. People will have a conversation on Rhea, and if you don't capitalize on it quickly, you miss out. Your, quick. your window of opportunity is very small. Yeah. yeah. What's Rhea? It's the uh, quote celebrity dating app. End Ooh. quote. Oh. Yeah, bro. Is that? Shh, don't tell Jalen. You got to apply to it. <laughs> oh yeah. No, oh, right. Jalen's pissed. <laughs> Jalen's pissed. He's not on it. Apply to it. They will vet you, and then you have to pay for it. That's yeah, some smart marketing, like, like, bro. Like, 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 what do we? Wow. Explain what you're looking at, Jalen, for this. I'm proud of him. I'm just gonna say that I'm proud of him for okay. this one. Okay. I, I'll say this. But you I, don't. So He's I, doing okay. I mixed me and Corey's. <laughs> Chidi, get out of my room. Oh my that's 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 solid. No, I'm proud. I'm proud of this guy. That's okay. a that's a solid take. I might use this I, like, tactic. I, like, checked it out. And I was like, all right, let's see, like, what's good. Like, she has a. Wow, that's that's a that's okay, an aggressive amount of people that follow. I can't say it. That isn't a, can't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Why? No. Nah, we can't say it. Well, you know what? I'll say this. What would you rate her? Can I just see her? I don't know why oh, I'm yeah, asking just, you. Yeah. <laughs> Here, just or you can, can you sit on this. I don't know. Uh, that's a solid. I mean, I, I haven't I haven't heard her speak or like I the many I, people. I, I yeah. 
about it. But when it comes to physical attributes, she's a uh, she's a solid one. Okay. Ugh, the la- nails are long. They're like a half inch too oh, long. That's fine. The long, the longer the nails, the shorter the fuse. Hey, on ladies and gents. And then you're like. Hey, ladies and gents. I want you to look at me right now. Oh shit. This oh, man. Oh, she got some followers. <laughs> oh, okay. This man. The followers add to the. <laughs> does follow, does followers add to the attraction? This man. Out of all the things that he could have talked about, he yeah. talked about this bitch's nails. I think Cat Williams talks about this shit as what well. Is, it's like, say? it's like, damn, you bad, but your toenails are plum. And your fingernails are red. I don't know about you, but I can't do that, girl. I'm sorry. That's the type of shit that this man just did. So yes. I want you to acknowledge yes. how weird that was. I'm a nails. Take an nails, effect. Listen, nails have an, Nails can be an indicator of deeper, deeper character. Oh, no. I'm, I'm fully into the fact that if you take care of your, your fingers and toenails, That's that is a full I'm contribution talking. to how Jaylen. much you take care of yourself. Jalen's but... just trying to cause problems. Shut up, nigga. Let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hey, sheesh. I'm saying, sheesh. I'm saying, you know, sometimes when they have super long nails, you know, those like Sharkeisha. Oh, yeah. No, the scary <laughs> ones, they make you feel like you're going to, when you, when you're getting a little weird, it's going to scratch you up. And the you're ones like, that I, they're like, oh, I'm not basic. Look how long my fucking nails are. I'm like, no, you basic. That's not take away from your podcast. No, that's it, Cuddy. You on it now. Oh, no. How, how, how old is the photo? Do I? You do. You went to, uh, I think you and Chaz went to his party. Who is this? Let me see this. The, the listeners are so, so curious right know. now. I've seen this gentleman. Do you know who, the, who it is? I don't know him. I've seen him. Let me see him. I've seen uh, him in, in passing. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm, th- I'm thinking. Asian Lomo's friend? Let me see. Is this cool? I have I never Chaz, seen I that Chaz guy. Does. Okay, Chaz. Does. I'll I've say never this. Seen that guy in my I'll life. see this. See, I'm not. I don't like to be on the dating apps and shit like that. I'm not a big fan. I will slide in the DM. I'm not Instagram. either. I'm too lazy. Like, me as well. I'm lazy, but at the same time, I'm like. We went out. Me, you, Chaz went out once, and we got girls. I don't know why I said that. It really had nothing to do with this conversation. I just wanted to flex. I'm a real boy. I get girls too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, well, why I'm bringing that up is like, I'm just so late. Like when you're on Tinder, like you have to talk and shit. And, oh like, no, it's exhausting. That. Like for some reason, when you go out, it like cuts a lot of that barrier. One, you know that person's not creepy because you've had a face. Well, you can. Conversation. Well, you can, and then you can. Yeah, no, you I. Can, you can vet a lot of things. For me, it's like I don't want to take time out of my day. Three messaging. quarters of the issues that come about when it comes to Tinder and all that bullshit. All gets taken, just thrown out as soon you as you just out, say, yeah. hello, how are you doing today? And then the way they say that, if their face twitches or they, you know, and just little things, subconscious. Yeah. Verbal, just a, non-verbal just a, cues. Just a quick, hey, how you doing? And you then, know, hey, and then hey they, how, you, how you doing? And then, you, you know, you get to know whether they have the crazy eyes. And if they do, then you're like, okay, this is going to be easy tonight. I've actually met, no, I'm just kidding. I've met some people like that where online they're like cool. And then all of a sudden you see them in person like, you Damn. are insane. You yeah, I think that's. Ugly stick. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you got hit with the ugly stick. No, there's some. Good stuff. Like, <laughs> God, <laughs> damn, I've never heard that. Um, yeah, ugly stick, bro. I that's think, a classic. Think, that's a classic one. You've heard that before? Oh, hit yeah. with the ugly stick. Yeah. There's Sheesh. like you hit every branch on the ugly tree. Yeah, that that's a oh, okay. that's I a think popular I've one. Heard that one. Yeah, not the not the first one. I like that. One. Um, that's not very nice. You need a you need a third uh, mic, by the way. I know. Well, we could have. No one uh, said anything. We have the external thing, the external recorder. Oh. Oh no, you good? Well, That's why I said anyone could be on it. Yeah. That was that was a a special guest appearance by Logan. Young Logan. Uh, But I'll say this: I have no. I okay. This is what hurts. I've asked you so many questions, you haven't answered one. Okay. Uh, You said. What is your tactic? What is my tactic? See, that's what I was gonna say. I don't have a tactic. Literally, what I do is I tell the truth. Aw. Wholesome boy. Small town boy. Small town. That's that small town shit, which I think is clearly underrated. It gets abused in L.A., bro. You can't be nice out here. Because we talked about it. You cannot be nice out here in L.A. I'm corrupt now. I have no soul. Well, because we talked about He said, I have no soul. (laughs) Just kidding. No, you really talk to people, bro. People don't. Like, he was just talking about how this girl has a guy on her page. She's still responding back on the yeah. celebrity dating shit like that. Some real shit. Real shit. Like you just don't know. 
some unstable shit here. People are about their success down here, which is fine. But at the same, like, so, and that's why I tell the straight truth because I'm, I, that's, I've never been good at I, dating apps and all that shit because like, I'm not like, I like, like for example, I like used that. to, when I like playing games, huh? Huh? You don't like playing games and like all that shit. Yeah, I know, bro. It's I'm just, bad at it. I have, I, I have sh- so much shit going on as it is. I don't have time to be like, blah, 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 blah. like, like I'll ask you. I mean, there's okay. Don't get it twisted. It's a gray zone. There's some people in this world that I haven't asked to hang out that I would love to ask to hang out, but it's like a gray area where you don't know if you should or not because of some work. Corny LA. Yeah, because of work, whatever. Because it gets, because unfortunately, this business is about networking, and so like, if you fuck. Like and not networking completely, but like, if you like fuck. you you fuck up you. F- <laughs> okay, I thought I was like, if you if you, like, if, you going? if you fuck up relationships with people that you're already friends with because you want you want to take it farther and you don't know if they did, that could possibly fuck up. Whereas that that friendship didn't fuck up any jobs or anything because it had nothing to do with it. That possible relationship fuck up from you like trying to take it too far with them can fuck up opportunities later because then they talk to other people and it's like oh yeah Jalen fucking yeah. he was being real weird with me when what's, it's like what's that uh what's that saying you don't want to not count your eggs before they hatch but like it's like Logan's good with this shit well there's like the one where it's like you don't shit where you eat well don't no, eat where you sleep one, but I was trying to say like you don't want to like oh, no, yeah I think you're right I think that is the, the one but yeah I know what you're talking about like Man, it's, things are so blurry here. Yeah. Right when I got here, I was like, it's not that people are fake. It's that you don't know. It's so hard to tell whether they want a business relationship with you oh, or yeah. a genuine friend. Like I got. Because like, sometimes you can have both. Like speaking of which, I'll tell you. Even I'll tell you a story about that. You can be specific. I'll be very specific. The, view, the viewers are thirsty, but I can't. But I can't. I can't say names. Obviously, say a I was name, on. It doesn't have to be her. Just make the listeners feel like they know this. Person. All right, Jessica. We're going to call her Karen because Karen bugged the shit out of me with this one. We got the whitest. And Karen, well, Karen, Karen's that type of name that you're like instantly just like she's the one who calls oh, like there's a barbecue or and they're, they're calling the cops. Like there's some shenanigans going down the street. Oh, that's, a, that's a Karen. Type. That's a Karen move. Yeah, yeah, that is so I'm going to give this a care. I'm going to give this girl a Karen. It's like that's her actual name on accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, so, Karen, I'm on a set. It was a blast of a set. Girl the whole time keeps looking at me. I assume, which, you know, assuming makes ass out of you and me. I'm used to this shit. Yeah, I'm uh, no, <laughs> <shut> <laughs> Not at all. Uh, but I assume that uh, she like, thinks it. I'm cute or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she wants to say plan. Hey. Yeah, hey. yeah. Hey, yeah, Denzel. yeah. She wants this uh, yeah, King, King Kong. And right, got I'm shit making, I'm on me. I'm making you lose focus. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, uh, nah. So I am assuming Karen keeps looking at me because she thinks I'm attractive. Okay, cool, right? cool. I don't get a number. I I barely met her. I didn't even introduce myself. She came up and introduced herself to me. Okay, cool, whatever. She aggressive. And then she came up and like gave me a hug afterwards. That's twenty twenty. I don't think I'm gonna ever speak to this girl again because that's what happens to a lot of these people on set. Of like course. you'll see them and then it's transferred. A few hours later, I'm getting fucked up with some friends, and I get a DM slide in. Hey. And it was like, "Hey, you," or with like a like with a the nerd face, like with like the Logan. like the uh, the blushing face and shit like okay. that. Okay. Yeah, right. That's a that's like a slide in it's DM those shit. <laughs> Ew. <stop. laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Okay, keep going. Uh, that's like a you know that's like a slide in thing where 100%. it's like, "Hey, you're cute. Hey, what's up? How you doing?" Yeah. I get to talk to her. Uh. She's talking about, yo, we should meet up, hang out, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, Well, I'm getting drinks with my friends. You want to come with? Then the conversation changes because I asked, I said something. Wait, 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 wait. So you asked her, do you want to get that same day? Yeah, because she just hit me up and I was like, because I was already, A. Oh, wow, drunk. that's aggressive. Well, you're already going out. It's L.A., bro. It's not like Oregon where it's like it's like a whole mission and I have to go out. Like, it's no, L.A. You can literally – you and me can literally go to a bar right now and say, hey, you want to go? Oh, hell yeah. That'd be popular, like, that's too. L.A. Yeah. yeah. It's like – it's L.A. Everything is live at all times. So I got you. I immediately go, hey, you, we're getting drinks right now. You want to hang out? And the whole conversation has not changed. I'm, I'm assuming she's been flirting with me the entire time, right? 
wrong. This bitch was trying to get a business. Karen was trying to do business and trying to fucking link up for like networking purposes and shit like that because she thought I knew everybody on set better than I really did. Uh, and she's like, yeah, I can't really hang out. I can only like. How I, do you I was, know that though? She literally said that. <laughs> Because she literally said, I'm looking for people to hook up with for business purposes. No, I not assume hook- you know everyone on set. She said that word for what? No, and quote on, take the hook up part with, but fucking. Wow. Yeah. Like she was literally, like she was trying to network with me, That's but she I'm was saying, coming bro. at me with a flirting. Karen was coming at me by being, by flirting. And what I thought was, and what I was confused about, because I, I assumed she had a boyfriend, which she did. But if you're going to come flirting at me through my DMs in the way, look, there is a way damn, to go about business damn. and there is a way to not That's talk gross. to be about business. That pisses me off. And so I, immediate, this is why I don't and now say she anything. immediately put me in a situation where I had to get myself out of it because now I look like a creeper because it looks like I'm flirting. Uh, and so I had to go, oh, no, my bad. I'm literally just trying to get drinks with cool people. Like, if you want to come, you can. And she goes, yeah, I'd really love to come. That sounds like a lot of fun. Where are you guys going? And I didn't message back after that because I said, fuck this chick. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, We're turning good guys like Jalen corrupt. He's playing games now, leaving girls on red just because, you know, they, they, they hurt him. You know what? It's funny is I'm god off on games, but you have to play games. You have to a little bit, yeah. And or you'll lose. You're like, already playing the game. Like, we literally talked about playing games on one of the other five, the first one we did. I remember my dad hit me up with a message, and he was like, "He was like, he was like, that's right. You two, uh, you two young bloods are on the right track. Keep, keep. Oh, it moving. he did. Yeah, he's like, keep, I love it, keep it moving with it. that. Girls play games, and they play them way better than guys. Don't, They're don't get, tri- so don't get good. caught, don't get caught up in that shit. And I They're said, so good. And I said, you're right. But when you got money, they don't play. As many well, because and I, that's I said, what I've it, noticed. I said it the last time too. It's like, I'd much rather. It's a time where like, and unfortunately, in this town, like, there's a lot of gold diggers and. There's, even dudes. No, this is not talking about just women. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of gold diggers on both sides. A lot of, of fucking party boys who are like, hey, bro, like, you want to spot me cash? <laughs> Whatever. Um, whereas, like, um, where I think what people get wrong and get twisted is, is, like, the reason there's some people in this world who got, like, that perfect girl, yet they're still in L.A. Well, for them. I'm not saying there's, like, a perfect girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're that... The girl that was for them or whatever like that is because you were working on your shit. And because of you working on hard on your shit, somebody was attracted to you more for more than That's just what I'm saying. the idea of taking a they don't, when you're success, titty pick at When you're more successful, Instagram. when you're more successful, they don't play as many games. That's no, what I've then, they're, then they're straight then up. they're just like, oh my God, you know who hit me up? Oh my God, fucking blah, 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 yeah. blah. And then he called me over and then bada bing, bada boom. And to be honest, and not even just to hook up, but like just to like even if you want to date, it's less games. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm like, which is cool. Like, live your life. I'm almost giving up on the idea of me sliding into like I'll slide in with like an emoji, like a fire emoji, like damn. Yeah, I like or something like that. But like I'm like, but when it comes to sliding in DMs, because people take it, people take these emojis and shit. It's fucking serious. It's such like here. a power play. I have too yeah. much. I have too much pride. Where it's like, and on top of that. Three quarters of these DM slide, ninety nine percent, which is the whole point of acting too, and fucking half these jobs, ninety nine percent of these DM slide, it's like never work or becomes no. weird. It's just too easy. That's why they never work. It's too easy to just slide in a DM. Yeah. So I'm to tell you, so so to tell you, to roll this back, to tell you a strategy, I have none. I literally tell the truth. If I think you look fire, I'm gonna put a fucking fire emoji. If I think I want to put hard eyes or a, or a or uh, the dude, the one with the kissy face, or if I want to say, say, wow, gorgeous, fucking, you're inspiring me today, whatever, I'm going to say that. I'm not going to just sit here and... Yeah, that's fair, man. Like, there's no, there's no, like, I'm not, I'm not down with the shits with, like, oh, well, I, I said this, but, you know, I really don't do that. I just really wanted to fuck. And then, on top of that, Jeez. when it comes to that shit, I'm really not, like, like, I'm not, when you do hook up with, like, what we talked about this last time, I'm not trying to, like, hurt nobody or nothing like that because of... Lies that I said just to get some. Yeah. Excuse me. Damn, I'm never that right guy. I don't even gas myself up because I'm just scared. Like I don't like gassing myself up because then I'm like, is this girl looking for me because of what I gas myself it's, up about? It's called being. Well, that's. I mean, that ties in. It's called being humble. Like. Yeah. I, I was neither, raised, I was just raised that way. Like I actually feel that like small town. That small town mentality. Not yeah. saying that everybody like that in a small town. There's a lot yeah. of assholes and there's a lot of people. There's up. a lot that are. Yeah. But uh, the idea of being like humble and being like ah. Um. Let let my what I do for the world 
and what I do in this world speak for me and then you know and if you like my looks and shit then cool but like yeah no I, I agree I think uh sounds like cheek smacking in the other room somebody's somebody's clapping cheeks I don't know man but I heard some type of smack clapping cheeks while everyone's awake that's a bold move but you're okay if, like you're clapping cheeks and everybody can hear you clapping cheeks Obviously, they're not. I don't. I was just Am joking I okay? when I said that. I mean, if I'm, if I'm like had a couple beers in it and I'm not really thinking about it, I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care. Dropping cheeks back What's there. Popping? Oh, she got dressed fast. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said uh, you're. No, I'm just kidding. I just said you because we we're talking about how. Uh... Oh, she was talking about what I said. Oh, she. Was? You talking about what I said? I said, "What you doing, clapping cheeks back there?" Oh, there he is. Woo, 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 woo. I see you. Oh, my God. Is this a, <laughs> is a, this is a Howard? Wow, you guys are quick. Good job, guys. Howard oh. Stern show all of a sudden. Yeah. We're talking about Chaz and his girlfriend, Rose. The man, the myth, the legend. Um, clapping, yeah. che- clapping cheeks and going through weeks. I don't know. I didn't have one after that, but we're going through. Jalen came in with such energy today. Steady. I love it. Steady flowing. Um, oh yeah, and I'm white. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. I I wasn't even paying attention. I'm assuming it died. Maybe the battery ran out. All right, um, we're gonna wrap it up here pretty soon. Um, I think we've talked about everything we talk about. Chaz is here and he killed the vibe. No, I'm just kidding. Um, thank you for coming on the podcast, my G. I feel like you cut a lot of things off. I feel like you just got tired. What did which you want to talk about? I don't, I no, didn't I just get tired. feel like we were on a roll, and you just kind of like cut it off. Which what, do you, is fine. what do you want to talk about? What do you, you want to? You you wanted well, to finish know, your like, point. You like, wanted to finish your point. What was the point? There were subjects earlier that we were talking about, and it just I feel like you just kind of like. What are you talking about? Like what? I let you talk the whole time. I mean, hey man, whatever you, whatever floats your boat. You we can we can redo it. <laughs> hey buddy, whatever week. river makes you shiver, you know. I'm not. What do you want to I'm talk about, trying, bro? You know, fuck up your what do you flow. I'm talk? just trying to. What do you what do you what do you want to talk about? I'm trying to hustle and flow, not fuck up flows. Hustle and flow. But if you don't want to, I smell nice, don't I? Yeah, you do. Thank you very much. You know, I try. I try hard. You I see how Chaz a, talks nice, into the mic? You saw I, how Chaz talked into the I, mic? I, I put a nice cocoa shea butter on. It, it, it lathers the skin and makes you so You're so nice, black for that. And smooth. I love that. Um, so what did you, what did you, what were you talking about? I'm going to be honest. I don't, I can't remember such <laughs> but I feel like <laughs> they were like, we cut them off. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. You're getting sensitive. Thanks for having me on the podcast, you all. Damn, we had a lot of people on the podcast today. Yeah, we did. I just feel like you just kind of put a foot in the mouth of this this podcast. Well, Hello, good thing it's he called Yoel's Hangouts Podcast and not Jalen's Hangouts Podcast. That's right, because we would have had a fucking a I steady, flowing, <laughs> steady, steady flowing podcast for a while. Like, did we? We would have. Come on. Yeah, I would love to have you on. Rose is going to be on the podcast soon. Stay tuned, guys. Did you want to say something, nigga? I'm about to wrap it up. Speak up if you want to say, if you had a point. Be positive. Keep moving. And whatever happens, it too shall pass. That's Ooh, about it. Okay. Leaving out with some bars. All right. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for Jalen will probably be on fairly soon. Most likely. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>